This is an art room. This is an art room. And with a few basic tools, this is an art room. You're watching The Art Room. today and this is my art room. You know this happens to me all the time. I get really excited to make some art and I get my paper and my pencils all ready and then I can't think of anything to draw. At times like this I like to check my favorite free art supply store, the recycling bin. Let's go take a look. Let's see what we can find back here. Oh, I think there's something moving in there. What's this? Hey! Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, hi there, Mr. Rat. Uh, I'm Zach, and who are you, and what are you doing in my recycling? Your recycling? Hey, Buster, if it's in here, it's fair game. The name's Ricky. They call me Ricky the Recycling Rat, and I am an artist. Oh, well, it sure is good to meet you, Ricky. And hey, I'm an artist too, and I came back here just to see if there was anything inspiring in the recycling. You don't say. Well, it just so happens that the making of art out of recycling is my specialty. I've even got my own gallery. You have your own gallery. Well, where is it? I'd love to come by sometime. Well, actually, I'm surprised you haven't seen it already. It's just in your front window. You mean the front window of my house? Yeah, well, sure. Come on. I'll show ya. Hey, uh, Ricky, where did you go? Ah, here I am. Oh, there you are. Where, uh, where's your gallery? Well, it's actually just right behind us. If you just move the curtains out of the way, oh, we'll, uh, okay. we'll be able to see it. Okay. I just set it up here the other day. I finally made enough sculptures to have a proper art show. And I'm having my first big opening next Thursday. Wow, that's so cool, Ricky. Next Thursday. Oh, you know, I'm actually going to be in Mexico. I'm painting a mural at an eco-resort. Mexico? Mural? Eco-resort? Well, wham, I sure wish I could go there. But I can't miss my art show. All my best friends are coming. Oh, that's awesome, Ricky. Look at these sculptures. They're amazing. What's this one? Oh, well, that's my spinning wheel. Wow. Yeah? Basically, you just have to move it and try to see the whole picture. You just sort of pull on those strings there. Look at that. That's really neat, Ricky. Thank you. Cool. And, uh, what about this one here? Oh, well, uh, that's the face bulb. It's basically uh, telling the story of uh, the four-dimensional social overmind. Wow, that's uh, quite interesting, Ricky. Yeah, well, thank you. Ricky, thanks so much for showing me your gallery. You know, I've really got to get back to my show. And say, you wouldn't want to help out at all, would you? Well, uh, that depends. Would you be saving me any of your recycling? Sure could. Oh, well, I guess it's a deal then. All right, let's go. Do you ever get a great idea only to discover that the materials you need have just been taken out in the recycling? Art Supply Box to the rescue! Decorate a regular cardboard box and use it to store and organize all your favorite materials for making arts and crafts. And welcome back to the art room. And I'm joined by Ricky the Recycling Rat. Say hi, Ricky. Hi there, kids. I'm Ricky the Recycling Rat. Today, we're going to be making a one-word journal jar. A one-what-what-what? What, what? <laughs> it's a one-word journal jar, Ricky. It's just a jar that we decorate on the outside, and every day we try and remember to write down one word. It can be anything, a feeling or a color, 
or an emotion and we put that into the jar. And after a couple weeks, when there's a good number of words in there, we can actually start using the words as inspiration for making art. What I have here is an art making checklist. You can make one like it, or download and print one from the website. There are eight different forms of expression, or kinds of art. Sculpture and dance, for example. Choose a different type of art to do each time until you've done all eight. All right. Let's see now. Today I feel uh, busy, but accomplished, and also rushed and productive. I'll write rushed on a little piece of paper and put it into the jar. I tell you what, Ricky, why don't I leave the jar with you while I'm in Mexico? And every day, try and remember to put a word in it. And when I get back, we can pick a word out and make some art with it. What do you say? Well, uh, I mean, it's not something I usually do, but then again, I do like to try something different every so often. Okay, then, well, I'll do it. You can count on me, Zach. All right, thanks, Ricky. Well, I've got to go get packed for Mexico. I'll be back in a week. Hey. Have a good uh, art show at your gallery. Oh, thanks, Zach. I will. And, uh, bon voyage. I'm Zach, you're watching The Art Room, and I'm in Mexico at Mis Casas, which is a mini eco-resort. These are owners Katarina and Kim. Hola! Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And let's have a look around. Okay, Perfect. our pleasure. This is our star garden. Estrellas. It's a star garden? Yeah. These, all, these are all referred to as stars. Oh. In every place we got little hidden treasures. You just have to look and find them. Mm -hmm. I mean you'll find we've put like orchids here and orchids there and just trying to take some of the natural things that are around and put them together where people will enjoy seeing them. That's awesome. So you want me to paint a mural in one of the apartments? I totally want that. Yeah? I totally want that. Awesome. And catch the spirit of the land and the animals and the fact that I have a guitar that I don't play. <laughs> the musicians come, they like it here. I'm, this one looks like it might be just perfect for a nice mural just to go in there. Sounds good. Awesome. So what kind of things were you thinking to have in the mural? Well, we're in the jungle, so palms and geckos and scorpions and lizards and birds. And because this is Jersey's apartment, she would be insulted if she wasn't in the picture. Right. So you got to have some cat somewhere. And this whole land is just magical and it's inhabited by young mischievous spirits called Adosh. Cool. So they've got to fit in there somehow. Okay, great. And then the rest is up to the energy that you pick up from here. Okay. Good. All right. Thank pieces of bamboo come from the from the sea and uh, right here we have a cangrejo. Cangrejo is a crab. To me it totally looks like a crab. And then the, this is the double-headed horse. I'm gonna head that way and head that way. Oh, 
that guy. I think he's an anteater. You know, because anteaters have those big snouts. You see, there's his eyeball right there. There's a snout coming down. I've thought about what Kim wanted for the mural and I've done a bunch of sketches and I'm ready to show them to Kim. So here Kim, you can have a look at what I've done so far. This is precious. <laughs> the kittens. Yeah, the kittens yeah. are lovely. And Jersey. The Rastorama. And some of the plant life around. These are the guano trees. Yep. And are these palm trees? Those are coconut trees. Coconut trees. And here I've done uh, an outline of sort of the whole layout and as you can see I've got the kittens and the cats and then I've put the the spirit cats in the background here. Excellent. And it's sort of an underwater land space mix of everything. That's amazing. You like it? I love that. Okay, cool. And the, so here I had uh, I had Jersey in a kayak. But then I had another idea when you were talking about uh, having a guitar and never being able to play it. And so I thought, well, what if I have the cats all playing instruments? Oh, that's precious. <laughs> that's precious. <laughs> yeah. Here I am in the kitchen of the Jersey apartment, showing Kim and Catherine the sketches for the mural. They like them a lot, so I'm going to get started. <laughs> That sure was fun. And it's good to be back too. Well, I wonder where Ricky is, how he's doing, and how his art show went. And if he remembered to put a word in the one word journal jar every day. Ricky? Ricky? Oh, hey. Oh. There you are, Zach. I didn't hear you come in. How was your trip? Did you get that uh, mural of yours painted? Oh, I sure did. Have a look for yourself. Holy Tyrannosaurus! Would you look at that? That's really something, Zach. Thanks, Ricky. I had a lot of fun doing it, too. Hey, how did your art show go? Oh, it was great. I had a few raccoons come by and my favorite band played, so that was awesome. That's great. And did you remember to put a word in the one-word journal jar? Oh! <laughs> I did, Zach. Thanks. I've been waiting for you to get back to pick one out and use the art forms checklist. Oh, oh, and look!
Oh, wow, Ricky. That's great. I even pinned the checklist to an empty cereal box so we can spin. That's awesome. Nice one, Ricky. All right. Well, let's pick a word out of the jar. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Turquoise. Hmm, okay. Hey, you, you said I could write down any word to describe how I was feeling and even a color. I did say that, Ricky, and I think it's a great word. It makes me feel tropical and excited and calm in a really happy way. I think it's an awesome word. Well, do you want to take the wheel for a spin here? Uh, sure. Alright Ricky, you ready to do the turquoise dance? Let's go! Well, we're back at home, and this is the dance floor. I mean, art room. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time on The Art Room, where any room can be an art room. So long, kids. See you next time. Till I walk out the door and it's 906. I used to never be late. I never missed a date. I was a punctual wizard, always on my great escape. But lately I've been learning to procrastinate. Things seem to go smoother with a lower heart rate. You're going too fast You're gonna hurt yourself You're going too fast Too soon You're going too fast Better mellow out your mind You're going too fast You better start to unwind